Okay, so this is just a quick video to show how to design stickers for a puzzle. Right here I've got my curvy copter and I will start by making a sketch just on one of the faces of the puzzle and I will use convert entities and I will convert each of these faces and then I've got this sketch which I will um, use to make an extrude feature mm. The height doesn't really matter, you don't want to merge it. And then you've got your basic sticker shapes. Now you can use move face, I would usually use about 0.5mm or something. And just move them slightly inwards. So that is a little gap. Since that's what you want your stickers to look like. So... Here you go. Well, you might want to move them a little bit more. 0.7 maybe. Okay, so once you've moved them, you can use the fit feature and just round off the corners of your stickers. So, these uh, sharp angles I'd prefer to do at a smaller radius. I've used one millimeter for these corners and I'll use 0.75 for this uh, sharper one. And then these will just do at one millimeter again. So now I've got uh, the shapes for my stickers and I will just create a um, pattern so that I've got enough copies of the stickers for one face and then I'll just hide these bodies I'm not going to need for the stickers. So now you want to uh, go normal to your sticker face and you want to do file make drawing from part and just click OK and now it asks you to drag a view onto the sheet and just want to drag the view of the stickers on there and now you're done. So this is your sticker template. You can now export it to a uh, to DXF or something. And what I like to do is I'd like to make a dimension just like this, and this is just so that I can verify the sticker size with the sticker maker. Sometimes when exporting, it messes up units, and this helps too. Well, you can tell them it needs to be 53.50 uh, millimeters. And then you can just save it as a DXF or DVG or anything you like PDF that's also quite a common format so that's how to make a sticker template